Let's send it over to meteorologist Jennifer Correa now. It is going to be feeling like a tropical vacation, Jennifer, with the heat and the humidity today. Yes, uh, very humid by later on this morning and we're going to get some much needed rain, Carly. Now, I know a lot of us are spending a lot of time at home, but this is important because we still have to, some of us still have to go out and walk our dogs, walk our pets or maybe make a run to the grocery store. So best time to do it, I would say first half of the day if you don't want to run into the rain. But if you have to go later, then you're going to need the raincoat. So let's start off with current conditions. Temperatures started off in the upper 60s, but now we're starting to see the warm up. Of course, uh, 70 degrees in Weston, 75 in Miami and close to 80 degrees in Key West. Key West has a good breeze coming in out of the southeast right now at nine miles per hour. But the rest of the area, the wind is calm. So real time Doppler not picking up any rain, right? But look at this satellite and radar. There's plenty of rain spreading across north central Florida. In fact, there are a couple of thunderstorms popping up right now. Now you see over the Gulf of Mexico that bubbling of the clouds. Well, there's no radar there, but most likely there's precipitation there. And this is associated with a short wave. It's basically a weak low pressure system in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. That's why we're getting the rain today and with some daytime heating it's certainly going to help to produce these showers and a few storms let's take a look at this future weather model forecast so showers start to develop over Palm Beach and Broward by 2 p.m. Doesn't look too intense, but it does become more scattered across the area. And then a few showers start to develop over northern day. Notice the red in a few spots uh, that is indicating some heavy downpours at times and they're not moving much anywhere. The steering kind of slows down tonight as well with rain continuing tonight and even a shower start tomorrow. In fact, by tomorrow afternoon, we'll still have some spotty showers around. So basically becoming wet after uh, later on this uh, afternoon. So highs today, 83. By tonight, we do expect a few showers out there, mild and muggy conditions with a low of 72. Then tomorrow, do expect the cloud cover and expect the showers again with humid conditions. We start to dry things out starting later on Tuesday.